What's good everybody, Sabre Wolf 94, time for another deck, and this time we're going with a pure fire deck for the fire starter from the 7th generation, Incineroar GX. So I think Litten might be my favorite starter from the uh, Sun and Moon sets. I mean, I didn't really dig them as much as I did I dug Fennekin from the 6th generation, and 5th generation, eh, it, it was okay too. Uh, but I think I, I really like Litten. I like uh, the Torah Cat too, and in Synergix, it just gives me kind of the Swampert feel. It's like the fire kind of Swampert starter. Uh, it's a little cute Pokemon that evolves into this big guy. But anyway, I wish its stats were slightly distributed differently, but still a great Pokemon. Looks cool too. Okay, so this Pokemon, in my opinion, is really underrated. Now, I realize, of course, it's not the greatest Pokemon in the world, but I don't think it's as shit as people think it is. Incineroar GX, uh, with Hustling Strike, that is the main attack we want to take advantage of. So, it's a pretty simple attack, it's a pretty simple concept of a deck. Nothing really, is not really a scientific, creative revolution kind of a deck. You just fill your bench with Fire Pokemon, and it's going to do a lot of damage if you do. So, if you have a full bench... Hustling Strike is going to do 110 for one Fire Energy. And that's not bad. You're doing some solid damage. I mean, if you use this in Expanded, you can use things like Skyfield and boost the damage even further. And if you put a Choice Ban on, uh, we're doing 140 for one. It's pretty good. So what this means is we're going to knock out uh, most GX Pokemon in two hits. Two hit KOs. Should get the job done. Pretty good. Uh, we got Tiger Swing too. Uh, not the greatest attack, but I guess if you get two heads, it's going to do 180. So you flip two coins for each head to do 50 more. If you get one, I guess you do 130. Maybe it's decent. If you flip two, 180, that's what you want to do. But we don't really want to use this attack. If we ever attach three energies on this guy, it's just for the Burning Slam GX attack, which is actually a good attack, a great attack, mind you. It's going to straight up do 200 damage and burn the Pokemon. So that essentially means... 220 damage with the choice band is 250 basically we can knock anything out in one hit no problems so if you got to do it that way maybe sometimes we will we will burning slam is the way to go so two good attacks the retreat is pretty big but we're going to take advantage of that and the important thing is actually is that this guy since he's a stage two dude has 250 hp which is something that's very good i'm going to talk about all right now for other guys, I got to run, of course, the one NTGX. I think this is a very good Pokemon. It's gonna, It can attack pretty quickly as well with Combustion, 2 for 50. If we ever put 3, Fire Fang is pretty solid, doing basically 120 and more if they stick with a burn. But the important thing is, is that you can take advantage of Brain Burn GX, which is a very good attack, being a Sniper 150. That's fantastic. If we're ever going to use a GX attack, it's probably going to be this guy, Brave Burn. But it's nice to have options. Now, the other guys are basically filler, to be honest. Normally, the way I would run this deck is use this guy as the early attacker and then use Salazzle GX. In my opinion, that's also a very underrated Pokemon. Once you get like at least three prizes with that dude, he can basically do 150 for, for two, costless. And that's damn strong in my opinion. And if you get four prizes, then you should basically win if you ask me with that guy. Doing 200 damage for free. Very, very powerful. So, I want to use that dude. But unfortunately, I don't have any Salazzle GXs. And I'm having difficulty trading for them. It seems I have to trade like a Tapu Lele GX for only one of them. And stuff like that. And I think that's a shit deal. So, of course, I'm not going to do that. I need my one Tapu Lele that I have. It's essential in... Most of my decks now. So what we got is a bunch of filler guys. This maybe I would still run because it's pretty good. Or Ricorio. Uh, if we open with this guy, Passionate Dance. Basically acts like a Bridget for Fire Pokemon. It's going to instantly grab us three Fire Basic Pokemon and put them on the bench. So it gives you a little bit of safety too. So this guy's actually pretty good. Uh, maybe if I would run a mono version of Incineroar. You want to run a bunch of these guys. So you open with them. You fill your Fire... You fill your bench fast with fire Pokemon, and you're good to go. Pretty good Pokemon. Only one retreat. Uh, Kindle, maybe you don't want to do this, but I guess if you want to disrupt, uh, you discard some energy to the active Pokemon of your opponent as well. Now, 
we got Volcanion. This guy isn't that bad. I, I would still run this guy too, maybe if I ran Salazar. It's your enhanced kind of evil taunt, basically, from X and Y for fire. It's got good 130 HP. A solid 2 retreat cost, I guess. It's not really that solid, I mean 2. Uh, you don't want to discard 2 energies, but it's better than anything else. I may maybe it would have been better if it was 3, since we run Heavy Ball. But... It's a good Pokemon, so maybe it's fair. And it has two good attacks. Power Heater. Uh, basically, this is the <laughs> uh, 2.0 version of uh, Evil Tall, like I've said. You're going to do 1 for 20, so it's slightly weaker than Evil Tall. But you, could, you can grab two Fire Energies from the discard pile and attach them. You choose two of your opponents. You choose two of your bench Pokemon and attach a Fire Energy to each of them. So if you only have one, you can still attach one. So that's the important thing. You don't have to attach two, so that's a good thing. If it was like that, then maybe it would have been much, much weaker. So maybe sometimes if we open with this guy, we can attack quick. Again, he's a far Pokemon, so I can put him on the bench and help me with Incineroar. And it's one of the ways we can kind of uh, maybe attempt to build bigger attackers like Entei and maybe even this guy. Use Burning Slam GX. And even Tiger Swing. When we don't have a big bench and we've got three on, Tiger Swing, of course, is going to be better than Hustling Strike. So you never know. It's one of the better Fire Pokemon that I'm going to have if I just need to have Fire Pokemon just for the sake of having them for this dude. And now the other three, they're just here to be here. Uh, Moltres, I don't have any other basic, any better Fire Pokemon. This guy is at least big with 120. Can attack quick with Combustion. And has a fighting resistance too, that might be handy. Uh, the flying flare, we don't want to use this. I mean, I guess in very, very dire situations, if it ever comes up, it's going to be a crazy scenario. But it's there, I guess. Uh, but this is a Pokemon, I guess, to attack quick if we open with. And it has one retreat cost, which is something that I like. It means that I can retreat this guy quickly. If I open with him and I set up my bench and I can attack with Incineroar, it's pretty good. And Torquil, this guy is kind of decent too. I think this guy, I think I like this guy a little bit. Of course, I wouldn't have this here if I had Salazzle, but he's interesting. He can instantly burn the opponent with Cinch. And next, you attach one more energy. You can do Body Slam, two for 50. It's average, but it's not terrible. And if you get heads, you paralyze the opponent too. So with a little luck, this guy can be decent. 110 HP, not bad. Uh, 3 retreat cost is a big-ass Pokemon. But maybe we can search this too sometimes if we have to with Heavy Ball. If we just want a Pokemon to have on the bench and we set up the Incineroars. Okay, so like I've said, I would probably remove these guys for more Oricorios if I did. But I only have one Oricorio too. So yeah, so these are the Pokemon. Uh, the line is actually, I didn't talk about the main line. You got four Litten, of course. And I actually want two Torah Cats because I think one isn't going to be enough. We want to get, maybe not rely on Rare Candy so much and play a bunch of these, play them down, slowly get to Incineroar maybe. I think two is a good number. So okay, so we've got a bunch of um, perks for this kind of a deck. Since I only aim to use one energy uh, for my main attacker and for use to use Hustling Strike, which is the main attack, only needs one energy, it means that we don't really care that much about energy. Since we only need one to attack, we only attach one per turn. So Max Potion is pretty good in this deck, in my opinion. Uh, this is where the HP comes from. So things like Pokemon like Kindra, I uh, can't really utilize Max Potion as well as they could have had maybe a couple of years ago. Because now Pokemon hit for strong damage easier. Uh, they can do a lot of damage. Go like do 140 and shit, no problems. Maybe even with one energy. So it's not as good. But in this case, this guy is 250 HP. is a big ass Pokemon. Uh, it's going to be tough for opponents to knock this thing out in one hit. Unless they use water Pokemon and... Honestly, if we play against a water deck, we're fucked, to be honest. This deck is completely fire. And, yeah. Max Potion, 
they do a bunch of damage, they don't knock us out, we can just use this, heal all the damage from Incineroar, then attach another fire energy, we're ready to go again. And this way, the two hit knockouts that we're gonna getting, we're trying to get, they're better. It can work better. Alright. Same scenario with uh, Moltres. If I open with the sky, we can attack with combustion, and then I can easily retreat, discard a fire energy, attach another one to the Incineroar if it's ready, and it's not that big of a problem. Uh, energies isn't really that big of a problem in this deck. Uh, we only function with one, like I've said, so we can retreat easily, uh, afford to spend an energy on a one retreat Pokemon, and use cards like Max Potion. So. Uh, one of the things that I have to mention before I forget, as you guys can see, this is a pure fire deck. Before we talk about the trainers, I want to talk about this. It's a pure fire deck. I don't even run Mime, I don't even run Tapu Lele for consistency, even though that card could help a deck like this. Because I really don't want to have any Pokemon stuck there. We want to maximize Incineroar GX's attack. Uh, if you just have like 5, it's going to do 90. And... That might not be enough. We might we, we might not get two hit knockouts on GX Pokemon that way. That go over like a 180 and shit. I want to do always 110. I mean, if I do less, if I have to attack with a bench that's not full, it is what it is. Uh, that's why we got the choice band too. But I always want to fill my bench with fire Pokemon. So this is why we won't be running Mime and Tapu Lele. It's a pure fire deck. But I still have, I still made the deck consistent with supporters and shit. Uh, so, speaking of consistency, we gotta have the nest balls. I got two nest balls here. And one heavy ball. I would like to run more heavy ball, but one should do the trick. I'm only running three Incinero GXs anyway. I only got three, but it gets the job done anyway, I feel like. Uh, we can instantly grab Incineroar with heavy ball. Uh, maybe in some fucked up situations you might grab this. But yeah, so it's these are the balls basically. I don't even run Ultra Ball since I don't run Tapu Lele. That's basically it. We do run Double Stretcher though, Recovery to the hand. Uh, this is important because it can grab me another Incineroar. Uh, maybe I'm gonna need a fourth one, but it can grab any of our Pokemon. I'm I'm basically using this as an option to either grab Incineroar but also grab any of our Pokemon. If anybody dies. I play this, grab another fire Pokemon, play it down, and it's important to have a full bench of fire. I mean, how many basics we got? We got 5, uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, that's decent. And with this, maybe I can reuse some as well. Pretty good. Run the one professor letter for adding the fire energies. Uh, just in case, you know, we still want to use this as a great card. Grab the energies. Uh, the four rare candy is pretty standard uh, to evolve my dude. You got the two field blowers, great card. Remove the tools and shit. Uh, those choice bands can be annoying. We want to minimize the damage to this guy if we can. Run my switch and float stone, standard stuff. And for offensive tools, I do have the two choice bands here. Everybody can take advantage of this. Uh, if we open with, let's say, Moltres, I can do one for 50. Uh, I can do more damage with uh, this guy too, Volcanion. And of course, we're going to put this on Incinero GX if we can. Anybody, basically. Just extra damage is pretty good. Okay. And uh, what else? Uh, I think that's it for the trainers. All that's left is the supporters, basically. Well, there's the stadiums, too. Uh, my stadiums is basically just two stadiums. One Scorched Earth and uh, one of this. Uh, the Scorched Earth is basically for consistency. Maybe I can afford to discard a Fire Energy to draw cards. And help us set up and shit. It's a great card. Uh, maybe you don't want to use this too much. Because uh, you only need one energy. But I've already kind of built this deck to be kind of uh, careless a little bit with energies. Not care too much about them. So maybe if you use this a lot too. Uh, you might run out. Or you might not have enough. So use it a little bit maybe. Maybe when you're setting up still. And Ultra of the Sun. This is pretty good. It's going to help us with the weakness. One of the ways we can counter water, I guess. Maybe you should run two of this, but I kind of want this when I'm setting up. It can help. Like I've said, we don't really need that many energies to work, so maybe we can afford to discard one or two to draw and shit set up. And 
All that's left is the supporters, basically. I run my Bridget, of course, and this deck is important. Grab us those fire Pokemon set up, not only to bring out Incineroar GX, but also to power up his damage, of course. Then I gotta run my three Ents and three Sycamores, standard stuff. And with the three Ents, we're running Cynthia 2, Cynthia 2. So that's like we have five of these Shuffle and Draw Pokemon. Normally, I probably wouldn't go this overboard, but in this case, we don't have Tapu Lele, and we want to make this deck as consistent as possible. I don't want to be in situations when I don't have a supporter. I want to see a supporter every turn. So, we set up our guys, we have everyone ready, we have the bench full, so we can attack and grab the max potions too. Uh, this card can win you the game, basically, if you play it right. I wish I could play more, but I don't want it to be dead, I don't want it to clog. And two, it's a good number, I feel like. So these are the supporters. Uh, there's no Lily since I don't have Ultra Balls and things of that nature. And I do play the one Guzma. This is one of the decks where maybe we can afford to run this guy. Instantly switch, my dude. And since I only work with one energy, I can attach one and attack. And targeting things for the opponent, pulling whatever I want, can be pretty good sometimes. When maybe I damage the Pokemon and they want to retreat, kind of save it. Kind of fuck with me this way. Maybe this guy is pretty good. Of course, only space for one. Uh, I like Lysander, and this guy had one in my decks anyway. It's too bad we don't have Via Seeker, but it is what it is. And the Fire Energies, uh, I got 12. Uh, it's not too many, but it's not too few either. This way, uh, we can maybe attach them to, let's say, this guy start attacking, retreat, like I've said. I attach one to this guy. If... I have to discard a bunch, maybe, and have to use Sycamore. This is why we got Volcanion, too. It can be kind of handy. It's one of the only ways to get, like, Fire Energy of this in the discard pile and utilize this guy. If I open with this guy and I'm forced to play uh, Sycamore and I have, like, let's say, two Fire Energies, at least maybe I can do one Power Heater and grab one Free Energy this way. So not bad. Not bad. And Skyla, actually. I forgot about Skyla. Uh, two Scala, of course, for the rare candies, for all the other shit that we want to use. Scala is pretty good here because it can grab me a max potion, too. Uh, this guy, this card can be pretty important. Uh, we don't have energy retrievals and shit like that, like in Rayborn and shit, but uh, it's going to grab max potion. This is a significant card we might want to see. Choice band, too, and all this stuff. So, this is the deck, guys. Uh, you can have some fun with it. I think it's underrated. Uh, of course, if you have better fire Pokemon, uh, you can use other shit. You can use the Salazar from, uh, not Great Encounters, uh, Guardians Rising, the one that burns and poisons the opponent if you want to, but I don't want to run Stage 1 Pokemon with this Stage 2 line as well. It's going to make the deck uh, less consistent. It's going to require more space and less basic Pokemon. Maybe Salazar GX, that guy is very good. It's worth it to bring that guy out. But since I don't, we're just going to run these guys. Uh, this guy's pretty decent. Uh, it actually has the weakness, the type coverage advantage on Galissapod. We can knock it out in one hit, no problems. So that's pretty good. Uh, I love this guy for that too. Roast that pain in the ass guy. Like the fucking aquatic uh, buck shit fossil it is, whatever the hell. It's not a fossil, but it's kind of like one of those Pokemon. So we've got the type of advantage over that. I mean, I know people uh, talk about nowadays that the Lucario GX uh, is going to replace that dude. That it's a better deck. Lucario GX, Zorark GX. But I'm pretty sure that deck uh, is still going to see play. Uh, Galissapod. So you can burn this dude. Uh, you can kill Leafeon GX easily. Any other Grass GX Pokemon. We have a couple. Lurantis sometimes might pop up too. You can knock all these guys out, no problems with fire. Water is a bitch. Things like Lapras are going to make quick work of you, honestly, and other shit. But maybe Ultra of, the, Ultra of the Sun can help, not Ultra of the Moon. You can play more of this and maybe drop this. It's one of the ways to remove your weakness, I guess. That's not that difficult. Just the stadium. So this is the deck, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys subscribe. Leave a like. Share this with your friends. I'll post games, of course, with this deck. Uh, it's not the greatest deck in the world, but it's not shit. It can be kind of decent if you get going. Cool deck, in my opinion. Sebrov94, what's up?